All right, so here I am inside of VS Code. I have uh, Grok Code Fast 1 selected here. Now, I have this application that I build out over and over again. It's a pet application that enables me to kind of like find pet-friendly locations. And right now, it is just a Hello World blank application. So the first thing I do when I create kind of new projects or add new features, I come up with a PRD or a, a requirements document. So I'm going to ask it to come up with a PRD and markdown for pet owners to find and share and rate pet-friendly locations and to keep it high level with no technical details. So I just kind of wanted to come up with ideas for me that I can review and add and and maybe build on over time, basically. So that's kind of the, the first thing that I want to do here. So, okay, this tells me that this uh, PRD is here. It's the venue. Here's the problem statement, solution, target audience. We have some key features, community sharing, venue management, user profiles, and also some user stories. So that's super duper nice as well. So I'm going to keep that. I could iterate on that as well. I'm just going to trust it. And the other thing I have here is just a Copilot instruction. So I, it's a Blazor WebAssembly app. Tell it this is how I want the code to be structured. You know, to only use JavaScript when necessary, some performance considerations. And then I have this prompt, and I use this over and over again. That basically just tells it to uh, generate a landing page with some different characteristics, like some gradients, some nice fonts, plenty of emojis, some hover animations. And I also tell it that I have some images here as well. So I'm going to paste the PRD, hit save there, and then I'm going to go ahead and hit run. And this is going to start a new chat with the agent uh, with Grok here, and it's just going to start browsing my application, understand what's going on. Again, it's file a new project for the most part, but it comes up with a to-do list here of what it's going to implement. So it's going to start adding landing page styles to the application. So if we see the app CSS update, Perfect. And we can see the files change down here as they get applied. It's like a whole bunch of CSS is getting applied. That's great. Cool. All right. That looks good. So 300 lines of CSS. Rad. Here as well. I even updated the Blazor error background. That's cool. All right. And so a bunch of CSS. So we get our, our home razor. So our pet friendly venue finder, pet venues. And I think it did it. So let's just run the application see what happens. So it's going to run the application. Uh, we'll go ahead and watch it. There we go. And should build it up. All right. So we have features about contact of light theme, dark theme, this little hover ooh, with little gradients that's going on there. We have the cats, dogs welcome, cats too, all pets. Oh, that's cute. All right, it looks pretty good, actually. So, yeah, pretty solid, I would say, overall. It's light theme, dark theme going on there. So there you go. Now, besides Grok Code Fast 1 being one of the default models, you can also, of course, customize this list. You can go to Manage Models here, and, of course, you can now select Copilot. So when you do that, you could, for example, kind of choose to ignore some of the models that maybe you don't use, like the older Sonnet models, for example. Now, when you go into this list, it's going to be nice and shorter. And these are ones that I actually use, like GPT-5 and Cloud Sonnet 4, and now GTP-5 Mini and Grok Code Fast 1. Well, the other thing that you can do when you can manage models is also bring your own key or also run models locally on your machine. So, for example, here you can configure an Azure key, Anthropic, Olama endpoints, OpenAI, Gemini, other Grok with a Q, Open Router, or Open AI compatible. If you tap on the XAI, you can then put in your XAI API key. So if you wanted to use other Grok models, you can do that as well. So you can use the built-in Grok Code Fast 1 model, or you can connect up and bring your own key as well. And that is Grok inside of VS Code. <laughs>